Across America, the face of hunger has changed. Families who never had to worry suddenly wonder where their next meal will come from. People who were middle class workers and suburban homeowners can no longer make ends meet. It's a little disheartening to, to come to the realization that it's actually going on, to, to believe that it can happen so close to home and uh, to believe that there are people out there really struggling. Well, it's affecting people that have never in their lives had to ask for help, and that's really the surprising thing when you get on the street level and talk to the people. It's worse than we've ever seen in 32 years at Feed the Children. People are suffering in this economy. The rules have changed. Uh, they aren't, for the first time in their lives, able to make ends meet. The recession has caused people to lose their homes. People have lost their jobs. Uh, they have really uh, lost hope. They really don't know how to survive through this, and that's what we're seeing on a regular basis. Although I work, I don't have enough to pay my bills and eat. I mean, we're struggling right now. My husband just lost his job. Anyone is a breath away from unemployment and hunger. We've seen about a 40% increase in people asking for help for the first time. And again, these are people who've always been able to take care of their own business, and now they're having to turn to others for help. The first thing that we have to do is convince them that there's no shame in asking for help. And once we get them over that hurdle and show them that there are people right there in their own community that are ready and willing and able to help them, it eases their mind and we're able to provide that assistance to give them the hand up. It's not just adults who are suffering. We have eight people in one household and we need the, all that we can get to help us feed our, our children. Children have no say in the matter because they can't go out and get a job. They had no say in getting into that position and they have no way of getting out of it. Uh, so they're what we call the innocent victims who are caught in the crossfire of this economic downturn. Uh, they're hungry a lot of times, sadly, they feel like it's their fault. They've done something wrong and nothing could be further from the truth. To combat hunger here at home, Feed the Children launched Americans Feeding Americans. So far to date, Americans Feeding Americans has reached 235,000 families nationwide. By the end of 2011, we hope to reach another 200,000 families. We have people that have fallen between the cracks that need emergency help right now. At Feed the Children, in our food distributions, every person that comes through gets a 25 pound box of food, a 10 pound box of personal care items to try to provide help and hope through our food distributions to get those people back on track. When we arrived this morning at 7 a.m., the people have already started lining up. You can see the line now, it's gosh, five, 600 people and, and we still don't open for another hour. Hunger is a problem that's growing with no end in sight. I mean, you know, it's just hard even though I have a job and but I mean, you know, this is something, you know, that I'll remember forever and... We hear from different people that the economy is getting better. That may be true at the top, but for the people from the middle on down, we're just not seeing that right now. And the need is greater now than it has been at any time. Not only is it, is it important to help neighbors in need, but I think it's, it, uh, it's time for us to become neighbors again. So what can the average person do to help? Donate. The majority of Americans Feeding Americans contributors are $10 to $25 donors. Those donations of $10 and $20 and whatever anyone can provide, every donation makes a difference. It allows us to put on food distributions, put a 25 pound box of food in someone's hands, and we can keep our trucks rolling. We have 50 of these semi tractor trailer trucks that crisscross the country on a daily basis, providing help and hope to people in communities large and small across America. I got to touch someone today that actually needed this at this time today. This is a blessing to everybody in this community. Feed the Children is a 501c3 tax-exempt organization. As a result, all donations are tax-deductible. For more information, call 866-403-3338 or go to AmericansFeedingAmericans.org.